Hello, and welcome to the online election judge training. In this first video, we'll be covering some updates to our existing set of videos and specifically talking about uh, guidance related to the 2024 August primary. Uh, so without further ado, we'll proceed through this slideshow. To begin with, welcome and thank you to everybody reviewing the series of videos for the online election judge training. In this slide, we'll be covering the dates of the upcoming elections. We have our state primary occurring Tuesday, August 13th, 2024, and we have our state general election occurring Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. If you have not done so already, please respond to your assignment letter to confirm your availability. This is important for our office to ensure we're meeting staffing level needs at various precincts throughout Ramsey County and to ensure that election judges are able to sign up for the trainings necessary to serve in the polling place on election day. Would also like to mention a thank you to all election judges going through this process for the upcoming state primary and state general election. We deeply value the time, commitment, and service you provide to the voters of Ramsey County and are looking forward to working with all of you again. Our agenda for this introductory video to the online election judge training will be covering the following points. What is a partisan primary? We will be covering updates to equipment and setup. We will be covering updates to processes, and we will be discussing other training requirements for our election judges. In this section, we'll be discussing guidance related to partisan primaries. The upcoming August 13th state primary election will be a partisan primary, so we'll be discussing the differing processes related to elections administration for the August 13th state primary versus the November 5th general election. For the August 13th primary election, it will be a partisan primary election. Voters do not declare a party before receiving a ballot. Both parties appear on one ballot. There is a partisan side of the ballot and a nonpartisan side of the ballot. People may or may not have two sides. If there are two sides, the front will be the partisan or political party based races and voters need to vote in one column. The back side, if there is one, will be the nonpartisan races and ballot questions. In this section, we'll be covering updates to equipment and setup. Updates to equipment and setup. Polpad internet connection is now completely internal to the Polpad device. No MiFi device will be required to be set up on election day morning. The internet connection comes entirely from the Polpad device itself. There are color changes for tubs and folders. Some of the videos that you'll be viewing later on in this training will include differing colors for tubs and folders than what we currently use. Our tubs that we use, we use a red tub for our head judges to pick up the Saturday before Election Day. And we also have a blue supply bin, which is dropped off at the polling place prior to Election Day. We have our purple folders, which contain election judge payroll items, such as timesheets, mileage reimbursement forms, and direct deposit forms. And we have our blue folder, which will contain certification forms for equipment setup. Setup begins at 5.30 a.m. on Election Day. It is important that all members of the election judge team are ready to set up at 5.30 a.m. to ensure polls open at 7 a.m. on election day. Many head judges do practice Monday early setup. That's something that your head judge can reach out to you to coordinate times and who is available to participate in that Monday early setup, but that is not obligatory. In this section, we'll be covering training video updates. So some of the videos that are in this online election judge training have differing details than what we are currently abiding by here at Ramsey County Elections. So we'll be covering some of those updates in this section. In this section, we'll be talking about updates to election processes. To begin with, all ballots will be returned to the elections office on election night. Uh, after teardown is complete on election night, your head judges will have the ballots delivered to our location here at 90 Plato Boulevard West to drop off to the elections office. It is not necessary to count or number ballot receipts. In the past, uh, we have had some procedures in place to count or number those ballot receipts. Uh, that's no longer obligatory. A lot of head judges like to use different procedures to keep track of the ballot receipts. We leave that up to the discretion of the head judge, but it is not obligatory to count or number those ballot receipts. Uh, please send absentee ballot drop-offs to the elections office until 8 p.m. on election day, uh, not 3 p.m. So this is a change from 2023, a law change that came into effect, which expanded the absentee ballot drop-off time period to be cut off at 8 p.m. instead of 3 p.m. So any voters who are wishing to drop off their absentee ballot on election day, they have until 8 p.m. to do so. Another change are 
our assistant head judges, which we used to have staffed at every polling place on election day. Uh, we no longer have that position. We now instead have transitioned them to the registration judge role. And we will have those registration judges, two at each precinct in Ramsey County, uh, serve their duty at a separate table for same day registration. All election day registration is on the poll pad. This includes determining if the voter is in the correct precinct. In this section, we'll be discussing other training that is required for our election judges before they serve in the polling place on election day. So as I mentioned in the previous slide, we have other required trainings here for our election judges. Uh, these trainings will be in-person training classes, which will be located at our building here at 90 Plato Boulevard West. Minnesota election law does require a minimum of two hours of training every two years. In addition to this online training, all election judges will complete an in-person training as well. This in-person training will be position specific. Our precinct judges will take the pull pad training. Registration judge, judges will take the registration judge training. Head judges will take head judge training. And area judges will take area judge training. Interpreter judges will have a specific interpreter judge training to attend as well. And we have our trainee judges, so our student election judges will take a position specific training as well. These are all required uh, to meet that Minnesota election law requirement. Uh, we do greatly appreciate the time and commitment you all put into this process. You will be compensated for these trainings if you elect to be a paid election judge as well, and we really do value you taking time out to attend these trainings. So this concludes the introductory video to the online election judge training. Before we part ways and proceed to the following videos in the training, everybody here at Rams County Elections would like to extend a thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of this process. We are very grateful for the service that you provide to the voters of Ramsey County, and we love meeting with you and talking with you, learning more about each and every one of you, and the service that you provide to the voters of Ramsey County is truly a vital service, and we are very grateful for that. So thank you all for your time, for your effort, your dedication to this process, and please feel free to reach out to our office if you have any questions or would like to touch base on anything at all. In the meantime, we'll see you soon. Thank you.